Hello everybody, it's Pedro Jasmine Gonzalez and I don't know if I'm going to do this video later or make a video but maybe later on talking about portals and, and things like that and I found interesting in sci-fi and uh, horror movies uh, but yeah, this is my review of Ghostbusters Afterlife last night I got the chance to get my ticket to go and see Ghostbusters Afterlife right after I left my workplace and um, I gotta admit, I totally enjoyed the movie. I mean, the movie was, I guess, not the original movie, so don't go there thinking that it's going to be the original movie. No, it's a totally different movie, but they tied up the cast, the newer cast, with the old cast. So, that's the first thing. So, um, the other thing that I want to mention is like, um, there's not too much of a spoiler. You can expect that Ghostbusters is going to make an appearance, and Ghostbusters did make an appearance. Like. That was pretty obvious from watching the uh, the trailer that Gozer was going to be part of this movie one way or another. So there's no spoiler in, in saying that Gozer make, makes an appearance. Like how did that how that happened? I think I'm going to save that so that way you can go and see a movie. But yeah, Gozer does make an appearance in the movie. Gozer is the pretty much the boss uh, again in in the film. Um, there's one thing that I wish I could have seen more in the movie. One of the things that I wanted to see more were more ghosts, possibly. You know, there could have been a chance for putting more ghosts in there, you know. Um, but that that did not, uh, that was not the case. There was only one ghost that they used, and that was uh, Muncher. Um, but at the same time, we, we know that it's uh, part of the ghost boss, so we know that those, uh, when they come, you know. Um, which is also interesting because like when you watch series like Supernatural and that kind of stuff, ghosts appear because they have something left, like whether it's for revenge or for something else, you know. And uh, in this film it's like ghosts seem to appear when there's a Supernatural um, event that is about to happen and have an impact on our physical world, um, which is very different lore for, for ghosts. At the same time, the classification that the Ghostbuster used for the ghost made me rethink. Like, like in the ID, you have the classifications for demons. So, like, are these really ghosts or are these really demons? You know, or maybe there's no difference in whatsoever between demons and ghosts in Ghostbusters. So, I, I am not too sure about that. You know, I wish the movies will explain more of that lore of um, the ghosts and where they come. You know. But we know that they have the ghost world and all that kind of stuff. But like, still, it would be more interesting to have more of the lore of, um, the, especially the mythology, since ghost stories are real character. How those ghosts are interact with other, like, uh, fits into the existence of like we humans to see it. You know, because we saw the original Ghostbusters, like um, the, the, the Cardinal of, uh, of New York. You know, like in friends with Major. So, like. How does this sort of like affects the other viewpoints of people in the, in the world, you know? Or did all decided that, oh, we're just going to ignore that because that doesn't exist, you know? Uh, science maybe has to place magic in the Ghostbuster universe, and but we know that magic is real in the Ghostbuster universe because of um, ghosts are being able to summon, ghosts exist, and also like Vigo was even a magician, a powerful sorcerer that. that uh, was able to find a way to immortalize himself so those are things that I'm kind of curious at the same time the movie doesn't do a lot of like expansion but it, it, it makes sense to me because like in the first movie they give you the hint of like oh okay so there was this guy named Ivo Chandor that built a building to try to bring Ghost or down so when it goes in the beginning of the movie like I didn't feel lost because like I knew that that was probably Egon that was investigating everything that would happen in that town so I knew that was Egon the very beginning if that was Egon um, like even though you couldn't see the face of the actor or anything like I'm sure it was Egon like that's all I needed because I, I'm like okay he's the one that probably knew about this and um, so he was working there trying to prevent the uh, second coming of Gozer pretty much and uh, figuring out a way to stop Gozer pretty much um, because in the first movie they they never they never trapped Gozer. Gozer was 
let go. You know, they only closed a portal that goes her up in New York City, and they prevented him from fully for, from fully taking over the world. But they never captured him. So Gosser went back to to its dimension, I guess. If you want to see it that way, you know. And, and that was a thing that I have. Uh, the, the the one major problem that I have with the movie is like in the first movie they realize that they can't defeat Gosser. That Gosser is not like any other ghost they can capture. So they can only close the portal that Gosser had opened in New York City. And um, but in this movie. And this is a major spoiler, and I apologize, but in this movie, the premise is that they can, Gozer can be captured uh, with, a, with the traps, which is weird because I I thought that the traps were limited of like uh, what kind of like class entity they could handle, you know? Uh, but it seems that apparently they cannot like, capture Gozer, somebody like Gozer that is a highly powerful uh, being. So, so to me that was kind of like, huh, I, I don't know that. Like I feel like they should have explained more of the of the lore of that. Um, also, the idea of like, what was this place? You know, because you can make the assumption that the place that they, the, the mines that Witch Hunter had, oh, what, what those those mines supply the materials that they used to build the building in 55 Central Park, or was this a different location that he find out to try to summon those or was like. They found a map, and the map didn't explain much, but it was an ancient map, and it was written in, in, in old Sanskrit. So I could make the assumption that maybe that map that uh, they found was a map that Ivo found, that maybe it was a, a portal to to the Netherworld, or something like that, which is similar to, if, if you're a D&D player, the and 4th edition has this adventure called, introductory adventure called The Keep of the Shadowfell. And the Keep of the the Shadowfell is like there's an ancient ruins that open the has a portal to the shadow uh, to the Shadowfell, and um, the players have to thwart the plans for uh, Orcus uh, priest to open that portal to the shadow uh, to the Shadowfell. So, so pretty much like. So, so it seems to me that there was a portal that Ivo Chandler may have found out that was connected to Gozer. So he probably found a place and decided to build a temple there uh, for Gozer. And then and that gets explained in the movie. And, um, and then this is just making assumptions. And maybe when he tried to do New York City, it didn't work. Uh, so he decided maybe if I find a, a portal that has more connection to Gozer, maybe I can make Gozer come, come comes back, you know. So maybe he found it, found this town, and he supplied the town. I mean, he created jobs and all that kind of stuff. But we know they they expanded with the Lord that some miners died in the mines, and yada yada, you know. So you gotta wonder what he really was doing there. And um, and then the other reason why is like they explain a little bit with the with the number. There's a section of the of the story that has some numbers in in the, in the, in the movie, has some number that it happens to be like years. So like it seems that. Um, every number of years goes or maybe the, the alignment of planets or whatever they, they didn't explain very well but there the, the were years that high supernatural activity was happening apparently and that's what they what caused ghosts to come in different places now, you, you, why New York City maybe they that was a place that everything aligned and they were all open possibly open there but that Explanation that lore of why Gozer comes out wasn't well explained in the movie, but the other, the, but at the same time, the other things like you know, the other things in the movie, I, I did enjoy a lot. And, and like, even though the lore wasn't as much as I would have loved to see the lore, like the, the lore and the mythology and all that kind of stuff, it was still an enjoyable movie. So the characters, I really identify with the Phoebe character, like she doing an experiment with electricity, took me back to when I was younger and I tried to experiment with electricity and failed um, so yeah, and then her bad jokes, like I also used to make a lot of like bad jokes when I was younger, when people 
what Wikipedia looks like well, really. Um, so I definitely love her character. It was a very interesting character. It was not like a like 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 totally completely Egon, but like it was very well um, developed the, the, the characters and it. So yeah, definitely I love her the character of Phoebe. Trevor is more like the everybody is a teenager. Um, though I still don't know what, how he learned about cars, but we know that he had an interesting car that give you a, a little bit of a hint in the, in the beginning. Um, but, and in fixing the car, where did he learn how to fix the car? You know, that, that, that is a question. Um, it seems like the two people used to even like science, and cars are kind of like science, but, you know, maybe he, he knew before were taking courses I don't know but like they never explained that and that to me was a little bit like in there but like um, then he became a believer too because he was afraid to admit that what he saw in the mines and then we saw to like he's uh, driving the Ecto-1 and, and his Phoebe and podcast and he realized like oh that was a real ghost oh then I can totally completely tell you what I saw in the mines and um, so that that was okay in there um, Again, the Palfrey character was really interesting and as a scientist, uh, as playing a seismologist, that was very interesting to me. Um, their mom is like, oh yeah, I don't like science. Like That was very interesting, but at the end, of, at the end I think she found reconciliation and that to me was a very interesting character. You know, she put some closure, you know, and um, so, so, so definitely by the end of it, the like where scenes get like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, in the beginning it's like, eh, but like, in the end it's like where everything comes together in a very nice, touching moment, and I totally enjoy the ending. Um, but again, I wish I could have explained more of like the expansion of the lore. The podcast, the, the character of podcast, oh my god, that character was fantastic, I totally enjoy it. It was like a mini version of Ray Stance, but not like Ray Stance, but it was fantastic, and I also like the fact that like, Phoebe was a sign. This one's like they, they're talking about ghosts and all that kind of stuff. And I wish I could have done a scene where they kind of like see a ghost somehow. Um, but but at the same time, it was interesting because uh, Polka was the one that was like knowing about mysteries and all that kind of stuff. And he made, he's the one that mentioned, oh yeah, this this uh, this theory is haunted. And Phoebe says like, oh, I don't believe in ghosts. What? And uh, then his reaction was so fantastic. And um, when she's uh, having the, the, the testing the proton pack, uh, that, that was also really cool too. So like, definitely that character really did it for me in, in the movie too. Um, and then like, he's he trying to like fix the, the, the things in the Ecto-1 and then he f having his own fight. Because the mini ghosts, you think about me, the mini ghosts are cute. They, 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 what harm can they possibly done? Oh my gosh, when you get to the final scene and you realize what they're doing and it's like, it's kind of creepy in a way of like, I mean, you think like, like a gigantic marshmallow man is, is creepy enough, but like, no, this little mini ghosts or um, in his tape of marshmallow man, they are way worse. They are hilarious too. Like, it's kind of funny to an extent, but it's just like, oh gosh, that is, they, they, they are creepy. How you fight uh, ghosts like that? So was fantastic. I, I totally enjoyed that the, the, the mini state of my child man. So it made me it made me laugh so bad in the, in the theater. Like I love it. it. It was like a laughter like oh gosh they're so bad but like also this is hilarious. Um, so definitely I like that. And and again the, the premise again is like there was a portal in there. So everything like all this movie is Ghostbusters one um, Two was kind of like almost like a portal through the painting. Um, Ghost posters 2016, which is also on the cast. Again, a portal to the to the ghost world. If you want to see it that way. Uh, but what is a ghost world? Um, so, so, so you can make assumptions in there. Uh, Stranger Things being um, being a portal to the to the upside down dimension. You know, like things like that. Uh, even Supernatural having a portal to hell. Uh, the Ablero, another portal to, to, to hell and demons and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Warrior, a, a portal, you know. 
Stargate, a portal but towards aliens, not even cats. Aliens, yes. Um, I cannot find the concept of portals to different dimensions or places so interesting that it's in so many things. I mean, even if the Bible is like, oh yeah, because like God is going to come back and all heaven's going. So there's going to be a portal at some point in the apocalypse that is going to open the a portal to heaven or to hell, who knows, um, but yeah, so all these elements of a portal is quite interesting that there are an, an element in, in all of this movie, so I just find it interesting, and I think maybe I will make a, a video about portals and all that kind of stuff, also the film has like, 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 you know, the thing like, oh, why this town in there, but like, it makes sense to me because if you are a, a cultist, you want to go in a town that you're not going to draw too much attention, that people are going to live, live, live you alone, so thinking that way, it makes sense that um, I would Chandler would choose a place like Somerville, Oklahoma, where there's some not many people, not many people there, so that we can have his uh, his operations and people are just going to ignore him, thinking that he's just a businessman, you know. Um, so it makes sense to me that he would choose uh, Somerville and for a place to build a temple of, uh, for Gozer, you know. He's obsessed with Gozer. Ivo Chandler was obsessed with Gozer. And, um, and then, of course, um, but, but, but it still let me wanted to know more and more. That I had more questions on the kind of stuff as, as to how the town was influenced by, by ghosts or, you know. And then the ending, the, the, the ending and the end credit scenes, you know, stay till the end. So you can watch the, the, the end credit scenes and the final ending uh, end credit scene that was uh, the, the one with wisdom uh, that was really cool so it left open the possibility of doing more Ghostbusters movies and I totally enjoyed that I totally like that idea and I'm not opposed to seeing new Ghostbusters movies even if they don't have the original cast but if they are well written like, like this one was um, I would totally love to see more Ghostbusters movie. I, I like the, the the concept of the Ghostbusters. You know, it, it makes it it even makes it great for a great RPG game. And um, I know that there was a Ghostbusters RPG back in the 80s, which I wish I could have gotten, uh, but I didn't have, I didn't have the money to. I, I didn't know of its existence. You know, there was a Star Wars RPG game, and we know that there's a Star Wars RPG game to this day, and there's also Dungeons and Dragons, but like. Ghostbusters was an RPG game, but there hasn't been any resurrection of a new Ghostbusters RPG game in years, so I wish that this movie will set up that. Uh, I know Stranger Things got a deal with Dungeons and & Dragons, and they probably had uh, Stranger Things Dungeons & Dragons, which is actually a module that I ended up purchasing. But I definitely would love to see a, an RPG game for Ghostbusters. And I'm not talking about a video game, I'm talking about a pen and paper RPG game, you know, uh, where you could uh, play uh, as a Ghostbusters, you know, trying to f solve mysteries and all that kind of stuff. And I think I, I probably sit down and quite a, my own version, my, my own RPG uh, version of uh, maybe a, a campaign that, that has a little bit of lore like that, that maybe that you could capture ghosts or things like that. I mean, in, in um, we know that in Supernatural they can they can totally capture some demons. I think um, also in the movie in the series Diablero, in Diablero they can capture the demons too. So um, that's something uh, that that has been happening. They don't use traps in Diablero. They they can capture the demons in a in a bottle, a uh, glass bottle, a glass bottle. So. They can actually capture the demons, but like it's, it's still interesting to me the idea of like capturing ghosts or, or demons. That 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 is really interesting. And like I said, Ghostbusters, the first one, it, it there was a point that I joke, I used to do jokes to my friend like, oh yeah, why are you so? When they ask me why are you so engineering, I would tell them, well, I'm starting engineering because I want to create a proton pack. And they will look at me kind of like, are you are you, are you, are you are 
seriously think about doing that, really. Like, you feel like those don't exist. And it, it, it made some interesting conversation, you know. Um, one told me, oh, so you want to make a cyclotron? I don't know if the technology is, like, actually in there, you know. And it's funny because the other day I was looking at my, at my science uh, chemistry book from, like, college, a new version, and they have a diagram for a cyclotron. Uh, and I'm like, hmm, maybe I should make a cyclotron. No, I'm not going to. But like, it was very interesting, you know, and, and then the technology, also the, how it explains what Egon was doing in the farm. To me, it made perfect sense, you know, he was making gigantic capacitors so that he could open out the, out the, all that, all those traps that he laid out in the, the floor. Um, pretty simple like, science explanation, you know. Um, it was made for fans of the original movie. At least you should have an idea of like what the Ghostbusters are and how the traps, they can move with the equipment, you know. Um, but they didn't dwell too much into a sense of like how the equipment works and yada yada. But I would have loved to see the question of how Egon came out to a conclusion that he could capture Gozer. Because that was that, that to me was a major uh, plot line. Like, how did Egon got the idea to capture Gozer and why? I get it that he wanted to prevent more events from happening, but at the same time, there was not a good explanation. Like, how he came up to the conclusion that he could actually capture Gozer, you know, because Gozer is a powerful entity, more powerful, I would say, than Vigo, you know. Um, so that to me was a major plot line that I see that was kind of like, I wish I could have explained more about that. Um, but other than that, like the movie was enjoyable, the ending really hit me hard, and I would totally recommend this movie, so go and see it, honestly, it's worth, I'm going to probably see it a second time and see what else I can see around in the movie, but it was a fun movie to see, I totally enjoyed it, I'm glad that I got to see it, and I'm glad that we got this movie, um, besides, after the, uh, that put a conclusion to, to, to the story per se, and that it kept things open for future possible uh, more Ghostbusters movie in the future so yeah that's all I got to say peace out everybody stay safe and I'm glad that um, if you watch it uh, hit me likes more questions and um, next video we'll try to talk more about portals because like I feel portals are so interesting uh, when when it comes to like horror the horror elements you know so yeah anyway peace out everybody stay safe and peace out bye